Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Here we are going into tutorial number 16. Yes, tutorial 16 of the one, not one and done, uh, palette focus of the Utopian Dream. Of course, we've done 15 tutorials. If you hear that noise, that is because the fan is on. It is getting a little humid now. It was nice and sunny the other day. But I figured going back through and editing all of my videos and stuff like that, I kept talking about how amazing it would be if I put this on top of uh, Purple Rain. And I never did. So, for tutorial 16, we will be dipping into this. And I figured 16, 17, and 18 will be a tutorial of the purples that I have from Pat McGrath. Is that still a hair? Did I miss a spot shaving? Oh, the struggle. I did cut myself a little bit. 16, 17, 18 will be a tutorial of the purples that I do have from Pat McGrath, which is one from Subversive, uh, the Mothership Mini Subversive, um, and also the purple from the Nocturne, Nocturnal? Nocturne Quad from the special holiday release from quite a few years ago now. Uh, it was the purple with the black base and it is so beautiful. But without further ado, let me go and get my face, uh, my eye primed. I actually might continue with this or the Dior, I don't know, I don't know. Cause it is getting really hot up in here. So let me go do my eyes first and I will figure this out and see you guys in a moment. All right, <clears throat> so the eyes are prepped with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. Still going strong with that. I think, because I have two backups of the primer from when I went to London. Um, but for the first and foremost, the most important part, I think I'm gonna go into, uh, I don't know, let's do Shockwave. Sun's popping out, oh, summer's coming. So we're gonna do shockwave first. And that's gonna be kind of like into our crease type of color. Cause I figured this would be kind of cool with the blue undertone of the purple rain. And then with that violet flip, flipper, 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 Rack and rack -a -doo. Don't know what that was. I really don't know. But just gonna go in. Oh. oh. So I have a new job and I have three days off. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesdays. So my husband and I went to the terrace yesterday and it was sunny and I already got my already got a line on my legs. Tan line on my legs. Because my skin is so desperate in need of the sun. But, going in with the blush brush just to go ahead and diffuse everything a little bit more. I keep forgetting how much of a punch this shockwave does give. Because it is a artistry palette. Let us not forget that. Because there are pigments in here that are not safe for the eye area. Are not great for people who have sensitive eyes. There we go. But I just love the fact this brush really gives. Oh, amazing. Now, I think from here, I'm gonna go into the Skin Show Nude Exit, Ecstasy for the brow. I want to just go ahead and have that down now. Oh, gorge. I do think this will be a beautiful highlight on the body as well. Like if you scrape some off into some body oil oh, for the summer. Gorge. Gorge. All sor sorts of gorge. There we go. Perfect. Now, the purple rain. Um, let me get a flat brush for this. Oh, it's purple rain, I swear. 
I should have bought it when it was a single eyeshadow as well. I'm so excited for this. I'm so freaking excited for this. So purple rain. I just place it all over. Screw it. Let's get into it. I mean, we are at tutorial number 16, so let's get our fingers dirty. Oh. My god. My word. There are just no words, period. This type of color is just... Because I know Urban Decay came out with the Christine... Leanne Christine or whatever her name was. Collaboration. And they also had this type of a color in there too. I'm a sucker for blues and purples. Oh. I do think this was a color that a lot of people really slept on. This kind of color is a little intimidating, but when done right, child. Perfect. Now with a fluffy brush, I'm actually going to dip her with the, well first, let's go ahead and do the crease, just going to blend that out to start getting some, I don't know if I want to, I don't know if Plum Noir will be deep enough for the outer, speck, outer, I might do Extreme Black for the uh, wing part, we'll see. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to use extreme black. All right, so I'm gonna dip into Plum Noir, extreme Plum Noir for the crease. Just get a little bit of depth going in there. And this is always the hard part. Not the hard part, the fun part. Making them look like they're related. Because one eyelid is bigger than the other. Or has more eyelid space than the other. Oh, the struggle. Perfect. Going to go back in with that purple rain to really get it into the corner. The whole lid is saturated with this. Oh. I really wish the brand would actually create a whole Mothership palette based around this color. That would just be so freaking amazing. Oh my god. Alright. Back with the fluffy brush. Get those edge laces down right. Perfect. Now, let's see what this will do. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I am talking about. Oh my word. I'm sorry, but this camera truly does not do this justice. If you have this palette and a color like this, you have to experience this. Oh my god. All right, oh, that is, that is what I'm talking about. That is what I am truly talking about. 
Let me go and do on that extreme black, put on some mascara, and we will see where we are at before I put on the face. All right, so this is where we are at. I, it, I'm truly digging this look. This is such a beautiful, oh, that just, this is where the hue comes in to Utopian Dream, to be quite honest. It just truly is an immaculate, beautiful array of hues, depending on what you use as a base for this type of Astro shade. Yeah, that's the fan. But moving forward, like I said, the next two will be the other purple, like Night Creature. So I'm kind of curious as to, because Night Creature is more of like a plum type of purple. So I'm kind of curious as to how it would change the overall uh, color of this. But Purple Rain with this, it is definitely a look. But I'm going to go and do the rest of my face. I am going to go ahead and use Charlotte Tilbury. No, I'm going to use my Dior for this look. And, um, but I will be using, is this it? Yes. This as my color corrector for sure. Maybe move away from the Guerlain. But if you guys have this still, perfect for summer coming up for those neon nights. And yeah, this is such a beautiful, <laughs> I'm just gonna get over this. Look, 36 year old playing with makeup and feeling fabulous. I will see you guys with the final look. This is the final look of the tutorial number 16 of the Utopian Dream in collaboration with the Divine, no, Subversive Mini Eyeshadow Palette. It is still divine. Oh my God, I really love this. Uh, bronzer is the Airbrush Flawless Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury in number 310. I also went ahead, no highlighter for this look, but blush is a mixture of Shockwave with <laughs> the Man Ray Nars Fetish, Fetish Eyes Nars Cosmetics Blush with this on top. Mm. So that is literally what I have on for blush. Um, and it actually does have a little bit of like a sheen to it, which is beautiful. So I figured this whole neon aspect thing would be a continuation into the blush from the eyes because it is giving me Coachella vibes. Like this is so so it's just it's just everything I love. Brows are by Becca. I went ahead and did uh, the Sublime Perfecting Concealer LM11 under the foundation, and I set it with the LL1. And on top of that, for foundation, I have the Dior uh, Skin Glow in 3N. And I also went ahead and did Beautiful Radiant Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury and 3.8.5 Medium with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder number two on top of that. So, tutorial number 16, I am li living for this. This is really beautiful. Um, like I said, the next one will probably be the Subversive, what is it called? Night Creature. And after that will be the one from the Nocturnal. Nocturnal Nirvana is what it was called, but I cannot remember the shade. Silly me. But it is getting hot up in here. I need to take these pictures quickly so I could edit. Um, but 
this blush combination as well with this is just everything and I am oh <laughs> I'm just in love with this like I cannot get over it but I hope you guys are enjoying uh, a few more tutorials to come through because I was re-watching dishwasher freaking hell um, and I think I want to do something like this one on top of maybe the chartreuse one from the subversive that antique gold type of look maybe we'll see i don't know so this tutorial palette focus might go up to 20 we shall see but i will see you guys in the next video i'm like really digging this like